a mother charged with the death of her two year old who died of a drug overdose was back in court today facing new charges. NBC Local 33's investigative reporter Ariel Salk is live outside the courthouse and Ariel, there seems to be a lot going on with this case. Correct, Renee. This is a somewhat complicated case. So Whitney Ard is being accused of negligent homicide of her two-year-old child. Now she is pleading not guilty to drugs and weapons charges unrelated to the other case. Ard was arrested last spring after police found copious amounts of drugs and illegal weapons inside her home. After being released in June, her children were immediately released to or returned to her. But court documents say the toddler found fentanyl just days later and died from the drug. This was not the first time the child overdosed. Court records say the baby was treated at least two other times. State officials say Ard might not be the only one to blame. It's almost criminal for whoever has that case. It is to me. The baby is in third time. And when that happens under someone's watch, because I know it's one case worker who has this case or that case, they just should be working for us. Ard's defense attorney, Dale Glover, says she is the victim because of her battle with drug addiction. But the prosecution is firing back, saying she creates victims. The judge ultimately siding with the prosecution and revoking Ard's bond in this case. Now, in another twist in this case, a Baton Rouge attorney informs us that the father's side is planning to sue DCFS for the death of the child. We will bring updated information as those become more public. Reporting live outside of the 19th Judicial Court, Ariel Salk, NBC Local 33 News. All right, we know you'll keep us updated on this, Ariel. Thank you so much for that.